find Cortez and get him to explain what the hell's going on. Insane or not, he's the only person I can talk to about this. Good morning. Did you ever question your own sanity, April? I mean, did you ever wonder if you were going mad? I'm quite certain I am insane. I'm not trying to amuse you, April. I'm really serious. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, I felt like that. Many times. Then explain it to me. How do you deal with it? Do you lock it away inside yourself, or do you talk to someone about it? Because I'm at a loss here, April. I don't know what to do. You have to give me more to go on than that. I don't know how I can put it into words. What I saw... What did you see? Last night, right here in this room, Mickey and I, we were watching a movie, a documentary about the new synthetic rainforests in Mexico. You know, the ones that produce eight times the oxygen of the original organic forests. I've heard about... But I'm digressing. Anyway, about halfway through the movie, like I said, I'm probably going completely bonkers. This room became a... a it was more like a vision, really, and I'm sure it wasn't holographic. What kind of vision? This room turned into a forest. What? It was like the forest came out of the screen and into the room. Like being in the middle of a hollow theater, but with added resolution, hallucinogenic effects, and... and smells. It only lasted for a few seconds, and then it all just disappeared. Did anyone else see this? Mickey did, but she refuses to speak of it. Says it was just our imagination acting up, which leaves me wondering how long it'll take before I end up in a mental institution. Something equally weird happened at the cafe last night. What was that? Last night, at the cafe, right in front of everybody, this creature appeared out of thin air. Just like your forest. It was only there for a few seconds and then it disappeared, but everybody saw it. Everybody. Oh my. What's going on, love? I don't scare easily, but this is really getting to me. Don't know. But whatever it is, I think, I'm pretty sure, Cortez is involved. Cortez? How is he involved? I don't know that either. I'd love to find out, though. What other weird things have happened lately? Little things, like movement in the corner of your eye that's gone when you turn your head. And noises, the kind you're not supposed to hear in the city. Animal noises. Wild animals. And once, this was very early in the morning, mind, a few days ago, I looked down into the canal and saw what looked like an underwater city. But as I looked at it, it dissolved into ripples of water. Scary. You're telling me, darling. 
I'm scared of cockroaches, for God's sake. What do you think this does to my nerves? Have you seen Cortez today? No, darling. I don't think he's around. Do you have any idea where Cortez is? Sorry, he could be anywhere. Well, he does enjoy going uptown to watch old movies in some revival cinema, but where that is, I wouldn't know. Who'd know? Perhaps Zack. He is, after all, the self-appointed film expert around here. You should talk to him, darling. Great. Zack. My very best friend in the whole wide world. Could you tell Cortez I'm looking for him? Certainly, darling. If I happen to see him. Thanks. I have to get going. Take care of yourself out there, darling. I never imagined I'd be doing this in a million years. Well, well, what do you know? The princess comes knocking after all. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't knock you out. Hey, was that a threat? You think that's gonna do you any good, babe? Just do me one favor first, okay? Well, give me a reason to, babe. A reason? You want a reason? Okay. What about a date? Yeah. Good. Tonight. Uh, sure. Tonight. I'll meet you at the... Pavilion, was it? And, uh, are you gonna put out? What? I mean, if I'm gonna use my VIP passes and my pills, babe, I just gotta know if it'll be worth it or not. You on? We'll see, Zach. Uh, just don't do a Houdini and vanish on me, babe. If you're a no-show and I wait around for you all night, I end up looking like an asshole. And that wouldn't make me very happy. I'll be a good girl and show. Smart. So, uh, what do you want to know? Where can I find a theater that shows old movies? There are quite a few that do, but only one that runs optical stock. I figure that's the one you want, yeah? Why? Because that's where Cortez likes to hang out. And I'm guessing you're trying to hook up with him. No, no. I just need to do some research for a painting. Babe, I'm not a moron. I see you guys together. What are you, his lover? The shriveled old weirdos turn you on? What is it, his accent? His acute lack of fashion? It's not what you think. Whatever. Hey, like I give a shit? You're with me tonight. By tomorrow morning, I don't think you'll find that old creep so appealing anymore. So, where's Cortez? Uh, when he's not outside reading or whatever the hell he does, he's usually at the Mercury Theater. They show old movies on real celluloid stock through a projector. Like in the fucking Middle Ages. Where's this theater located? I don't remember the street it's on. It's been ages since I was there last. But you'll find it if you head out the East Gateway from Metro Circle. It's close to the Radio Power Building, and there are tons of adult stores in the area. Actually, if you're not too busy, you could pick up something for us to watch tonight. Something really filthy. Zack, I don't think... Hey, whatever. I was just kidding, yeah? Babe, you got a major bug up your ass. Get a fucking sense of humor, yeah? I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the tip and the info. Just be at the pavilion by 10, okay? I don't like waiting around for babies like you. Got a million better things to do. And it wouldn't be a good idea for you to ditch me. Not a good idea at all.
there's a high voltage cable running parallel with the rail, and something's gotten stuck between them. Looks like a large iron key. I'd have to get down there to reach it with my hands, with that frayed high voltage cable. I didn't brush my teeth this morning just so I could be fried bacon with a pretty smile. I'll have to find some other way to get the key. It's a clamp. It's a plastic coated clothesline. Ducks inflated. The clamps open. When I was a wee last. I tried fishing a couple of times in the pond behind my house. I never caught anything. I hope my luck's improved. That's a pretty cool catch.